Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.1 circulatory systems. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 9.1 you need to describe the term circulatory system and for extended describe the single circulation of a fish and the double circulation of a mammal and explain the advantages of a double circulation. The circulatory system can be defined as a system of blood vessels with a pump and valves to ensure the one-way flow of blood. The muscular heart contracts, forcing blood through arteries at high pressures. Arteries lead to smaller vessels called arterioles, and arterioles split off into capillaries which form a network throughout the organs and tissues. Here, pressure falls and the blood slows down to facilitate the exchange of substances between blood and cells. Capillaries merge into venules, and the venules lead into veins which carry the blood back to the heart where the process begins again. To ensure that blood only flows in one direction, through the system, valves are present in the veins and within the heart itself. Now that's all you need to know for core, but for extended you also need to describe the single circulation of a fish and the double circulation of a mammal. So fish have a simple heart composed of two chambers, an atrium which collects blood returning from the body, and a ventricle from which blood is ejected. The muscular walls of the ventricle contract, pumping blood towards the gills to become oxygenated. It then flows to all parts of the body, distributing oxygen throughout. It's directed back towards the heart in veins, which contain valves, and then enters the atrium again so that pressure can be restored. This is known as a single circulation system as the blood moves through the heart once for each complete circulation of the body. Now single circulation systems are relatively inefficient as the blood loses pressure and slows down in the capillaries of the gills but still needs to pass through all the other organs of the body before it returns to the heart and pressure is increased once again. The transport system in mammals is known as a double circulation as blood passes through the heart twice for each complete circulation of the body. The right side of the heart receives deoxygenated blood from the body and sends it to the lungs to pick up oxygen and release carbon dioxide. The now oxygenated blood returns to the left side of the heart, which contracts, sending it off to the body's tissues where the oxygen is unloaded. Now a double circulation has the advantage of maintaining a high blood pressure to all the organs of the body. Blood loses pressure in the narrow capillaries of the lungs, but unlike the single circulation of fish, it passes through the heart a second time. This second passage serves to increase the pressure once again so that oxygen can be efficiently delivered to even the most distant tissues. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.1 circulatory systems. If you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate your subscription and I'll see you next time for topic 9.2 the heart.